Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to be doing a very quick guide on the Bastion. This is a brand new exotic that just came out because the puzzle was finally cracked by the community in the Quarters of Time. So that's the first thing you want to do. Go ahead and load up the Quarters of Time. It's on Mercury and what you're going to want to do is uh, basically pause the screen right now and copy this formula down right here now it may look a little bit confusing at first and a little bit overwhelming but just you know pull out your phone and your notepad or you know if you want paper and pen do that as well and uh, what you want to do is write down these symbols so what you're going to start with is clover diamond snake clover plus plus hexagon 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 plus diamond plus snake diamond clover snake plus plus snake snake hexagon diamond clover plus diamond hexagon hexagon diamond plus diamond this is the code that took the community one week to find using some intricate map that bungie basically you know created uh, at their studios so what you're going to want to do is go to the quarters of time and go through each of the portals and rooms in that order of those symbols it's pretty straightforward uh, once you get to the ending you'll know you completed it if you get to this room right here and you're gonna have one massive dialogue and saint 14 will be talking and i don't want to spoil it but it's very very interesting i highly recommend uh, you actually pay attention to the storyline because it seems like something uh, is definitely brewing then you're going to get another quest step and a chronometric weapon frame this is for the bastion Next, you're going to have to go to Saint-14, and he's going to have the next part of the exotic quest for you. Do not worry if for some reason it bugs out when the quest isn't there at first try. I personally had to change characters, go to orbit, come back to the tower five times before he had the next step for me available. You're also going to want to make sure, just in case if the quest isn't popping up, to complete any other quest that Saint-14 has. This excludes his bounties, but it does include uh, the quest that he had a week ago or two weeks ago. So make sure you have that done just in case that may be a prerequisite next you're going to want to go to the tangled shore and here you're going to find a lost sector and there's going to be a servitor there that you just want to rush and then teleport back to tangled shore and kill the servitor five times in a row once you're done with that you're going to go over to the spider and he's going to give you the next step which will uh, require you killing axinix i hope i'm saying that right uh, but he's a captain and it's found in the exact same lost sector that we were just at go to the empty tank lost sector once you get to the boss room right here um i was kind of confused as to where he was uh, but turns out he was uh following me this guy creeped up on me like a ninja and uh there he is so just go ahead and kill this guy and that'll be job well done and you'll be moving on to the next step of this quest Okay, so now you're going to want to go ahead and talk to Spider, and this is where you're going to have a little bit of the lengthy part of this quest line. But once you're done this, it's pretty much smooth sailing. First of all, you're going to need to complete 10 Spider bounties. It doesn't matter if they're the regular bounties or the wanted ones. I had these ahead of time simply because I heard about a data mine that said you needed 10 bounties, and I did not want to do those, you know, uh, right now today I, I was just like not having it so I did it ahead of time and that definitely shaved off at least 30 minutes for me during this quest you're also going to have to get eight public event completions but if you do the heroic versions of the public events you'll get two points per completion which means you only need to complete for heroic public events you're also gonna have to kill 30 champions but that is super easy and i got that done just by doing one of the public events so don't go out of your way looking for yellow bar enemies they'll be spawning during the public events and you should be able to get done with both those very simply and the hard part really will only be those 10 bounties but if you have those in advance for whatever reason then you'll be good to go next you want to go to the four horn gulch there will be a lost sector here and you're gonna have to find a grave now there's not going to be an actual grave but just follow my footsteps and you're going to notice that once you get to the waterfall there's going to be a faint glow coming from the right side of the waterfall it'll be like a blue glow and uh, all you have to do is walk up to it and interact with it and then that will give you uh, the next part of the quest line
Okay, so you got Altered Chief, which is the next quest line. It's called Memento. Next, you're going to have to defeat Rakes. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. But this is the um, Hollowed Lair Strike, but it's a special version of it. So make sure that you click on the one in Tangled Shore. There will be a blue banner for it. It's a special one. Again, do not launch up the regular Hollowed Lair Strike. Uh, then you're going to notice that there's this boss that spawns up. He can spawn on the left or right side of the boss room. Make sure you get a shot into him before your teammates melt him because you never know. Maybe they'll melt him and, and you might not get the quest step. And it would be a shame to do that all over again. It'd be a waste of 15 minutes or so. So once you kill that guy, you're basically done. You want to go over to Saint 14. He'll give you a little bit more dialogue. It's a pretty interesting uh, story tidbits here and there. And that's basically it. You'll have yourselves the Bastion. This is a very interesting weapon. I'm looking forward to actually trying this out in PvP. It's a fusion rifle, but an AR at the same time. It's very weird. So if you guys ended up enjoying today's video, a like would definitely be appreciated. Big shout out to everybody uh, who contributed to this puzzle. It was a long, long week. And uh, you guys honestly did a great, great job. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. Subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 content. Have yourselves a great day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.